Hey y'all, I'm Mavis and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, you are most welcome, okay? So today I'm going to show you how I achieved this beautiful hairstyle and yeah. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, okay? So let's get on with this video. So I used two packs of Afro Twist Mali Braids. Um, Gorilla Snot Gel for my edges and of course crochet hook you know y'all are thinking wait is it crochet definitely it's crochet so here as you can see i did just simple braids back and i ensured that my braids were very loose because i did not want like i wanted it to look realistic like it looks like it's coming from my scalp so i, I ensured like my edges were out pretty much yeah so um for the braids i for the strand for each strand i cut it into two for the back um because i didn't i did not want it long just shoulder length yeah pretty much i think you have watched thousands of videos of crochet braids but i'm just going to show you how to to do it and i'll keep on showing you how to do it with every crochet braid Every crochet hairstyle I do. So the perimeter I use the invisible method where I only take out one strand and leave the other one. You can only like understand it better when you watch. Um, otherwise you would not really get it. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do it around the perimeter, but as for the back part like from where i'm starting from just do the normal crochet method And as for the back, do not, do not like pack the hair up at the back. No, 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 no. For crochet hair, especially Mali braids, just to ensure it's it's best out of the back. Because the more smaller strands you put at the back, the more puffy it gets, and it's not going to be natural. It definitely is not going to be natural at all. So yeah. At the front, I used the invisible method to install the braids as well uh, to make it just look more realistic, natural, blend with my hair. Because I got many compliments. Some people thought it was a wig. It was a wig. Some were like, oh my god, is that your hair? You know. And it makes me happy. That means I achieved what I wanted to achieve, and that was to make my hair look good. Even though it's not my hair, you know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. So let's continue and I will show you how I did my main side part. Okay, so uh, for the main side part. If you can notice not if you can notice if you look closely you can see that I made my side part a little bit wider because I wanted more room to play with you know to install to make it look natural to just play with it because if I had made it narrower I don't know it wouldn't look as real as I wanted it to but now that that it looks just, you know not so wide but you know a good 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 
size and i'm so happy with how it turned out so y'all do keep watching because it's gonna be quite a process <laughs> okay Doesn't it look good already? I know, right? <laughs> so yeah, and then I'm going to go in and detangle it a bit. And then we blow dry this hair. Yep, blow dry. So I had to use, okay, I pretty much used the maximum heat to blow dry this crochet hair. It did not burn the hair at all unless maybe your blow dry has more heat um more heat more heat yeah has more heat okay has more heat or emits more heat yeah unless your blow dry emits more heat then you should just put medium but i did a a high heat full heat i don't know how to explain it but yeah i hope you get it i dried the whole of this hair then after that i'm gonna just show you how i cut it yeah i had to cut it to be shoulder length so This is how it looks like when it's fully blow dried you know looks so nice like my real hair in black and the crazy thing is i did this crochet braids on my colored hair yep i did and <laughs> people thought i actually <laughs> dyed my hair back to black no thank you i do not need all that dye in my hair okay let's just get back into this video so i cut my i cut the braids well, i cut the hair and also cut the other side as well and then after that i kept on playing with it cutting it brushing it to the desired length and you know to desired length and you know, just to look more realistic like real hair you know so here you can see i'm just using um what is it called it's an eyebrow 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 what's happening is it because i'm doing this this voiceover at night I'm just <laughs> eyebrow razor yeah I'm using that to cut to just shape the hair
this is how it looks when I am done shaping, cutting it. Then I'll go ahead and use a flat iron and a flexi rod for the last process. So here I'm sectioning my hair. Then as you can see, I'm just going to go in with the flat iron. First of all, I'll just comb the hair out and then I go in with the flat iron. But the flat iron is so hot. So I just like put it on for a while and then I put it off for a while so that I cannot burn this hair. I think I'm just used to using this flat iron such that I just know when it gets too hot then I put it off. So if you have a, another type of flat iron where you can regulate the heat then that's much better but for this one I had to just put it on for a while, use it, put it off so it doesn't burn my hair. So I do that until it feels soft because the blow dryer doesn't quite make it silky soft you know yeah it doesn't so after that I I I use the flexi rod and just wrap hmm, the hair around the flexi rod it's quite simple actually but it's quite challenging especially using it on short braids short hair you know but i had to make it work so after that i'm just going to use a little bit of hot water and just dip it in to give it to make it curly because these are just synthetic braids you know at the end of the day it can't curl like that with just a flat iron and if it does curl with a flat iron then the curls are not going to last so that's why i had to dip it in hot water pretty much and then i'll have to do it for or to do it on on my whole head and this is how it looks so this process i'm just going to use the gorilla start to just slick my edges i already slicked it before a little bit but i'm just gonna slick it a little bit more and for this particular hairstyle you have to slick your edges because you saw how i did my cornrows so loose because i so that i can be able to slick my hair into the crochet so that it looks natural yeah pretty much so it has to be like a ritual not, not a ritual but you have to really like sleek your hair at the front for it to look natural so here i am unraveling the hair i already removed the flexi roots so i'm unraveling it and just combing it out tweaking it making it look nice and curly and good and cute and yeah it's been a process but i am happy with how it turned out and i hope you liked it and please do comment below if you really liked it if you want to try it if you want to share it with your hairstylists you know to try it out just let me know you know yeah thank you for watching and i just love doing what i love doing and yeah <laughs> don't forget to like share subscribe okay you know there's more coming so much more and you are welcome again and again and again Different since 1995